Alright, so I haven't made a video in a long time, but just been really busy with my uh, work and everything. But anyways, um, today I'm just going to do a little unboxing for, I want to say little, but an unboxing for recently released Hatsune Miku Deep Sea Girl version. She was actually delayed one or two times, or even more to be honest. Lost count. So, I did order it from Amiyami, so it comes with one of those illustration cards of their mascots. Which I have a bunch of, but anyways. Oh, also a quick reminder. I did not forget about the contest. I actually closed down the video because I just didn't want people commenting. Because the deadline was already up. But I should be announcing the winner soon, hopefully this weekend, since I have more day off, so that's nice. But anyways, let's get to the unboxing. So, looks like this small company went with sort of a stealth look, which I think a lot actually. A uh, really clean black box with some preview of the figures, as you can see here. And here's the other side, and that's the front. So, let's open her up and take a look. It seems like a lot of people ordered her, from what I saw online. And I actually saw her at, what was it? I believe AX last year, fully painted. I'm not sure to be honest, I could be mistaken. Maybe just the scope, but yeah. All right, so she opens like this. And well, there we go. She's gonna need quite the space. So as you can see there, here are the coral reefs and the base it's on and her hair is enormous <laughs> as you can see there but let me take her out of the packaging give you guys a better look and what else we get in the box just some instructions as to putting her together but as with most figures it should be pretty simple so taking her out of the package this is Hasamiku without her ponytails looks kind of weird but upon first glance a lot of wrinkles and um yeah, just wrinkles. Wrinkles in her dress. So, many details. And, oh, but I thought that was a paint problem, but it's just a peg. So, there's Miku. First quick look. Next up, we got the coral reefs. They seem really nice too, as well. Got a little gradient to purple on the bottom. And the other one's fairly the same, pretty much. So, there's that. Of course, you got her ponytails, which have a lot of weight to it, actually. It's actually a good thing, so it doesn't feel too cheap. But upon first glance, it looks really nice, I gotta say. Good smiles are usually on par with their painting. So, there's one ponytail. Or, excuse me, not ponytail, twin tail. And here's the other. Also notice the ribbon. Pretty nice touch to it. But yeah, there's that. Last but not least, we have the base. I'm slightly disappointed with the base. I'm not a big fan of this reflective, kind of like black and blue thing going on. I mean, I guess it, fit this, it fits the theme, but I don't know. Would have preferred another design. But yeah, that's basically all the parts in their separate forms. All right, so I got her fully assembled now. And, you know, first impressions, she's really pretty. <laughs> and her face sort of gives off like a really gentle feel. But yeah, she's really secure actually. They got three pegs, two connecting to the twin tails and one with the dress right here. But overall, I'm really happy with my purchase. I'll give a more in-depth review when I do a separate video on the showcasing, but yeah, just a quick look, 360 degree look around. She's absolutely gorgeous. And if you want my quick review, if you're a Miku fan or just a fan of figure collecting in general, I would highly recommend her. She is absolutely stunning. So, that's just my unboxing of Deep Sea Miku from Gizmon Company. And I'll see you guys in the next video.